Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a Christmas Dollar Tree AC More and Random Stuff haul. I had a lot of comments recently on last year's Dollar Tree haul, and by the way, I'll link that up um, in an iCard or in the video description so you can take a look at that, because they have a lot of the same stuff this year, um, and I don't just buy stuff just to do a haul on it. I'm not going to repeat a purchase just because I think it's kind of cool, so go check that out if you want to see some of the other things. I actually got stuff that I needed, and uh, we're just going to get right into it. So, um, one of the first things I grabbed were some ornaments, and I grabbed these because they're smaller than what I purchased at AC More. So these were a dollar each, and um, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna, gonna kind of grab the AC More stuff right now. I'm gonna grab. This is what I got at AC More. If you can see how big this is, regular price thirty dollars. These were on sale for ten dollars on Tuesday, which would have been a few days before Black Friday, um, just this last Tuesday. And I got this set because I thought the colors were kind of pretty. I love the kind of like you know purple teal hot pink decorations but they don't go with my living room where I tend to decorate for Christmas so um so I decided to get the red and silver and white and also the blue and silver and white because that was just a little different and I'm going to make some um, Christmas wreath with the bobbles and I thought if I had these kind of muted colors if I didn't have them spaced out exactly perfectly like I have, if I had two silvers next to each other or something it wouldn't look really out of place um and then I thought that I might want some different sizes in there, so I grabbed these at the Dollar Tree. They didn't have packages of just silver, but what I thought I might do, I had a lot of really pretty like icy blue glitters. I thought um, I might paint or glitter some of the leftover balls, like some of the gold ones, because the gold aren't really going to go, and I'll just use that silver or blue glitter just to um, be able to use those. And so this was, um, these were $10 each, so that's $20, um, 21 22 23 $24. I'll be able to make two wreaths. I already have some wire wreath forms, but you can actually use coat hangers or a styrofoam wreath. But I'm going to do a couple different kinds. I'm going to do one with a styrofoam form and a wire form just so you can see both methods. And um, wish me luck on that. That'll be coming up soon on my channel. So uh, let me know if you're anxious to see that. Um, also at the Dollar Tree, I got book rings and these are really handy for storage these bigger ones because I'll take bobbins and wrap up like ribbon scraps on them and put them all together on a bobbin. Oh, hang on, I'll grab one to show you what it looks like. They're a little dusty, but you get the idea. You can just put a bunch of these on, or like uh, stamps or like rubber stamps in their little packaging. You could put a bunch of them together on a ring and hang it if you don't have binders or anything to store it on. They're just really handy. These little ones are great for doing mini albums, like gift albums and board books and things like that. So uh, for a dollar, this is an extremely great value. And they have three different sizes, and these are in the office supply section. Um, I also got these. I was excited because usually I get my lead refills, my tape refills at the Dollar Tree because they're a lot cheaper, but usually they only have the 0.5 milliliter in my, um, milliliter, millimeter, goodness, uh, refills, and my, like, favorite pencils take the, um, 0.7 milliliter, these millimeter, these Pentel ones, um, and so these fill the, fit those, and generally these are, like, three dollars a pack of 12, anywhere between, like, one to three dollars for one pack of 12, and you get 60 or five packs of 12 in one package. I'm just gonna pause this while the water pump stops, and we'll re zoom in a minute. Okay, thank you for bearing with me. The water pump is off, and I did grab a few other things and just head them out and ready. So, they have actual Aliens Original Tacky Glue at the Dollar Tree right now. I don't know if it's a, a thing they always have, but I was excited because this is a really versatile glue. It's great for crafting with kids because it's thicker, and it will, like, if you're gluing a button on some felt, it's gonna, it's not gonna seep into the felt. It's going to hold the button in place while it dries. You don't have to sit there and hold it. So, it's a really great um, glue for graf crafting with kids uh, when using felt and things like that, or ribbon, or fabric, or anything where a regular white glue will just seep in and it won't hold. It's a good marrying uh, thick glue. So this is the Aliens uh, Original Tacky Glue from the Dollar Tree. Um, I also got a couple clear nail polishes, a top coat, and a one that's a base coat top coat because um, I was talking to a acrylic paint rep the other day, and um, he was telling me, and this is a this is not an artist grade paint; it was more of a hobbyist grade paint, non toxic. And um, he was telling me that a lot of customers buy his stuff for to use with nail art, and I thought, what a great idea to like base coat it with like a clear to protect your nails, and so acetone will take your polish off, but then do like some acrylic paint designs because it dries so quick and it's so opaque. Um, um, so I thought that would be a really fun project to try, especially for some holiday designs. I can't keep nail polish on my fingernails for more than a day without chipping anyway, so pff, I'm sure acrylic paint will last today. I, so I got those to kind of play with. Um, 
I also got this spatter brush and um, I thought that this would really give me some big bodacious splatter with my watercolors and um, it had they also have like little this is from the Dollar Tree and it's uh, I love the Betty Crocker silicone stuff it's really high quality and a buck you can't beat it but they've got these like little grooves in here and I assume I assume that's to hold like your basty juices or whatever you're using to base things but um I figured that's gonna hold watercolor really well and I'll be able to flick all kinds of bodacious spatters on there so uh so I think I might get a second one and mail it to my friend Rich uh the spin doctor because he loves spatters and I don't think they have good spattering devices over in the UK that might be really helpful for him uh, the other thing that I got at the Dollar Tree were some more adhesive labels um these are really great for uh, actually, a lot of times I will print price tags out on these so I can stick it on my packaging for craft fairs and craft booth sales. But I've recently had a lot of fun doing like decorating a whole sheet um, with a jelly print or with um, just with spray inks and stamping and stuff. And then uh, using them as uh, gift tags. So uh, these are a dollar a pack. They each have 10 sheets. And um, compared to what you pay at the office supply store, it's a really great deal. They had those. They seem to have them all the time at my local Dollar Tree. I also got some puffed tissues, and I'm kind of particular about what I blow my nose with because I don't like scratchy tissues. And for a buck, I was pretty excited to see that. Um, I was at Dollar General the other day, and I got this bag of um, colored glass pebbles. I'm thinking about using them for some jewelry making, and they were a dollar for this big bag. I might use them for mosaics. I, I like to have these. They're also pretty when you're photographing cards um, and whatnot just to use as kind of like a background just to add a little sparkle. And they're pretty on like um, in like a little tray if you have votives in like little glass votive cups. They're pretty to have just for looks. And I've never seen such bright colors before. So so I grabbed them. Um, also at Dollar General. And you have seen me use these because I did use them in a still life um, that we painted yesterday. Just some seashells. They had seashells at the Dollar Tree, but they weren't as um, varied. They weren't as pretty. So uh, if you do have Dollar General, I've never been in one before. So um, I wanted to check it out. Not everything's a dollar. Some stuff actually, quite frankly, is overpriced. But um, but that was, that was a buck and I was kind of excited about that. You know what? This might have been two dollars now that I I don't, there's no price on it, but this might have been two dollars. I'm not sure, but uh, but it could have been. Also, for a dollar at Dollar General, they had My Little Pony puffy stickers, and for, you know, kids of the 80s, you remember the puffy stickers, and those were the most coveted stickers, and they had My Little Pony, and I couldn't resist. And they also had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I think will decorate some presents for my nephew. So I just, I had to impulse those. Um, I was at Target the other day and I actually picked this up for my hair because I needed some hairspray um, and I was just like oh man I remember Aquanet and I'm like well and if it doesn't work then I know I've used it as fixative for uh, pastels and stuff for cards that I'm going to send I typically don't fix my fine art but um, for cards and stuff and oh the smell takes me right back to high school and I tell you I did use this on my hair Thanksgiving and oh my god this is shellac in a can <laughs> it's got a nice short uh, ingredients list nothing that should harm your paper if you're using it as a fixative, but it's a little heavy duty for my hair. So I actually did pick up a uh, bottle of Salon Selective's um, hairspray at the Dollar Tree, which actually works great in my hair. So I am, people ask me about my hair a lot and it's like, um, seriously, I wash my hair once a week and I use like, I'm using like dollar store hairspray. I'm wicked classy. What can I say? Um, so then let's move on to AC Moore because I did uh, find a lot of bargains there and I can't show you everything I bought because I did buy a couple presents. But um, sometimes I love the, my kids love the advent calendars, these little cheapo, you know, chocolate filled ones. And you can't always find them. And I, and sometimes you can find them at the dollar store, but I saw them, they were $2 each at, um, at AC Moore. And so I grabbed one for each of my kids. But apparently my mom had the same idea because she got one for my kids too. Um, so I'll probably pass these along to a friend that also has three kids. Um, but just want to let you know that, that uh, AC Moore has these. If you if your kids also go crazy over these. My kids are like teenagers and they still love these things. So it's kind of funny. Um, they, all, they have a selection at our... I think all the AC Moores have them. Um, the Canson XL series, they have 9 by 12 pads for the watercolor, the mixed media, drawing, sketch, um, newsprint, everything. And they're all priced at $5.88. And I haven't tried the Canson Bristol, but Bristol is a very useful surface for um water media actually jennifer mcguire was saying how much she enjoyed using watercolor markers on this and i haven't used watercolor markers on this so i thought i would give this a give this a go and for 588 why not i do have strathmore bristol and the bigger pads but um, i find the bigger pads of bristol are kind of cumbersome because they don't fit in my guillotine cutter and that's what i like to cut things down with so i'll let you know how this works out i have high hopes because i've enjoyed everything else in the xl series granted they're not the finest papers you're going to find but i find for card making they uh, they will take as much water as you're going to dish out for card making 
techniques as far as the watercolor paper. I love their mixed media sketchbooks and I'll use those when I go to like life drawing. They take watercolor washes very well. You don't want to of course drench them but I'm really pleased with everything I've used from this series and you can't beat the price if you can get a 9 by 12 for 5.88 and actually I have a teacher's discount so I get 15% off everything that I get even sale prices and coupons so I think they're very generous with their teacher's discount policies there so they're kind of my go-to craft store. We also have a Joann's. I go in there sometimes but I find that it's way more focused towards um, sewing and um, like kind of your soft crafts rather than like the mixed media and art and they don't have as they you have to be like a public school teacher to get the teacher's discount there um, so I just find I get a much better value at AC more. I'm not sponsored or affiliated or anything. They had their um, meltable chocolate things for $1.78 and they often run, run good deals on these but um, my kids love to make these for gifts. They'll get like the pretzels, either the, the twists or the pretzel rods. I like the rods because you can do a lot of fun things with them and um, instead of getting Christmas colors because those are always the white chocolate and that's just they all taste the same. I decided I'd go with some of the other flavors that you have. I got salted caramel, dark chocolate because my daughter Lila is uh, she really likes a dark chocolate. I got dark mint and I got white mint and I just thought that these colors, uh, these colors, these flavors might go well together. I mean I don't eat chocolate myself but um, I thought those colors might kind of go well together and then they would look really sophisticated when you kind of drizzle them over one another and they'll all match and go good together and um, then we can make package up a bunch of uh, pretzel chocolate covered pretzel treats. They're wonderful for teachers and bus drivers and family members that don't like to have a lot of clutter around so um, that's always a fun thing we do every year me and the kids so I got those. It's great to get them at a deal. I sometimes buy them full price because the kids just enjoy them so much. Um, I also got this mini village uh, gingerbread kit and in the past the kids have all done the full-size houses but I find that they make them and then I don't have a place to display them because we have a small house. So I thought if we did the little the little village, the kids could each do one um, and I could do one and my husband could do one. Usually one of us is taking pictures because it's so darn cute to watch kids, you know, do gingerbread houses. Um, so I just thought, thought I'd try this one. I haven't tried this before and this was on sale for $6, regular $10. So it's not crazy expensive and I did give it a little shake to make sure I didn't hear any um, crinkly sounds but they usually package these up pretty good and these are, this is the Wilton Brand and that's usually what we get. So, um, so I was pleased to find that on sale because again, it's one of those things I probably would have paid full price for because we just enjoy doing them so much every year. Um, I did buy myself something. I got. I love ponchos and it's been a few years. It's probably actually been about uh let's see how old's my probably about 15 years since i've had a, po a new poncho except for one that i've knitted and i like these uh these neutral tones i am not patient enough to knit something with such fine stitches and i like that they're not as bulky but they're you've got the double knit um, they're reversible and double knit so it's gonna block the wind a little bit better and I love to layer on ponchos because they're kind of like wearing a blanket and I just love to be cozy and comfy. So I got this one. This was $10, regular 20 and I also got this uh, gray. It's kind of like a charcoal color because I like that crochet. Actually, this is a knit. I like that design and um, I mean I can't knit this for $10 and it's got fringe. I love a poncho with fringe. So this one has pit fringe and the other one doesn't. So I'll probably have to be careful washing this because fringe will tend to get kind of tangled up sometimes in the washing machine. Machine, so I will have to try to keep it clean um, but it should wash just fine I haven't looked at the tags but it's, it's probably just acrylic yarn it should be fine so speaking of yarn I did get some yarn I got um, these were three for ten and look at the size of these skeins of yarn these are the I haven't used the stitch studio brand I might have used some Maybe I have. I haven't used the chenille anyway and um, I have basketball season coming up and I don't like to um, I don't like to waste time I, and I find that lately I'm sitting a lot in the cars because my ki three kids are on three different teams so there's a lot of taking them down dropping them off waiting for the next one and rather than going back home and you know just all these like chunks of like 15 20 minutes 30 minutes um, I like to have something to do so I printed off some patterns for slippers and hats because I thought those would make nice gifts to like pair with a gift card um, because I don't I don't want to add to anyone's clutter at Christmas time you know I want to make sure that that what I give is used and not causing them stress or, or guilt you know like oh I can't give this away because someone just gave this for me you know so I figured hats and slippers are pretty um, pretty useful things to have um, and I did find a pattern from the slippers that my Grammy used to make us all and I just love those so I'm excited to try that out so um, I grabbed these I don't know how these will do for slippers because they're not stretchy Chenille's a very unstretchy uh, fiber um, 
but it'll be good for hats. So we'll try that out. If, if anything else, I can make up a crap load of hats and I could sell what I don't give because I have a booth that I maintain. So I thought those colors were really pretty and they were three thirty three per roll. So three for 10. It was, um, I thought it was a pretty good deal. And they had ombre colors, lots of different colors. Um, probably for $10, it's not a bad deal because there is tons of uh, stuff. It's a six super bulky, 258 yards. Uh, it doesn't look, there would, yet yeah, there is a dye lot. So if you are doing blankets, just check your dye lot and make sure you get all the same so the colors will match. But uh, I thought that was a heck of a deal. All right, so then let's go into random things that came in the mail. I was actually hoping I would I would hit the Dollar Tree a little bit better because sometimes I find like super awesome bargain deals and great wonderful things but um but it just I just didn't hit it right. Uh but I did get a few other things in the mail that I wanted to share with you because these are going to be coming up in uh, upcoming tutorials. I got some interchangeable knitting needles from Fab Art and they're the company that the interchangeable brushes and um I actually have another set with different colors but I was missing the cords and uh, ends and stuff so I'm excited to try those and I like the other one with the other colors the rainbow colors because um it'll be easier to identify the sizes a little quicker but I've got some nice big needles here I'll be able to do my chunky hats on and slippers and whatnot but I think they go from like size 5 to 15 maybe I'm not sure I will let when I when I do a video with these I'll uh, let you know exactly what sizes they entail I love this yellow uh full leather pouch though yellow is one of my favorite colors so that's kind of fun and uh these these brushes are great. Um, this is my second set of these because I have used the other ones a lot and they're not as pretty now because I've used them a lot this past year kind of testing out this product and I really liked them. They have really long bristles so they're nice for face painting and I tend to volunteer to paint faces for different charity uh, charities in town like Little League and um, like the parent-teacher group Spring Fair and different different things like that I'll offer to paint faces and I found these brushes to work really well on skin and um, if you leave them the water for an extended period of time since they have the plastic handles they don't uh, split and make your uh, brushes loose or anything so that's good for the lazy artists and then these I have not tried these yet but I'm thinking these are made for kids but bear with me I'm thinking these might be really good for stampers because um, we, there's been a lot of problems getting the color dusters and that's what these are right here People have been having a really hard time finding these. I don't know if the company stopped making them or what, but um, but it's kind of been too bad because then people have to go to these more expensive brushes. These were used to be like 99 cents a piece or two bucks at the most. And, um, and like men's shaving brushes run more expensive generally. So I was looking for something that was a little more affordable and these I think are going to work really well for like sweeping ink. And then there's another company that came out with some soft um, stencil uh, ink sweeping brushes and it, it was surprised me because I didn't think soft brushes would do so well but um, people are like wowed with the effects so I'm thinking wow I bet these would do really well for that too so um, th these are our kids brush but I'm thinking they may be really useful for stampers and I'm going to try those out and I'll let you know what I find because um, it's also in a nice little case where you know everything's all compact and stored away nicely and I like that oh and speaking of brushes I was on Amazon and I was inspired by fellow YouTuber Barrette Nice she has a YouTube video she's French I believe and and um, she has watercolor videos and I got this lip brush and it's retractable and all in encased and I thought this would be cute to put in my purse with a small set of watercolors so I'll have to try that out and see it might be too stiff um, these little synthetic bristles might be too stiff but if, if they're too stiff for watercolor I'll make sure I use a non-toxic color just in case they're too stiff for that and I have to use it as a lip brush but and then when you take the the uh, the back of the extender part off it goes away like magic you know, so I don't have to worry about splicing my bristles when I go to put the cap on, which is a problem you have usually with the, um, with the, you know, artist brushes. So I don't have to worry about that. And I'd say that's about a size five brush. So we'll try that out. We'll see what we think. But I just loved how compact it was and how everything just stowed away. And then um, from the recommendation of viewer Sharon Cullen, I grabbed some Dorland's Wax Medium because I wanted a way to preserve some of my watercolors without framing them under glass. And then I just serendipitously saw a tutorial by Angela Fair on YouTube and she is a fantastic watercolorist and she showed how she preserves her paintings without glass using Dorland's, Dorland's Wax and a few other products. So um, I am so excited that I can actually follow along. Oh, and while I was at AC Moore, I just wanted to say this is kind of funny, um, that I was like 30 cents away from getting double points double rewards points and the the cashier's like do you want to spend an extra 30 cents and get double rewards points so i'm saying so i said heck yeah and she goes well you want a caramel i'm like well give me three because i got three kids so uh so i ended up with three caramels for the kids too so uh so it's quite a successful um 
little haul there and now you get a little sneak peek out of some of the things you're going to see on my channel over the next month or so uh, if you like hauls please give me a thumbs up and check out my other dollar tree haul because a lot of the same stuff is there this year that was that that was there last year um that way you can get some other ideas uh different dollar trees have different things so i probably should have gone to one of the ones i don't go to very often to find new things but uh but there you have it thank you so much for watching and until next time happy crafting